last time on the Colo Show. I'ma lick the bottom of a sneaker that's never been worn in like at least three, four, five years. This one's taking me a little time. You kind of caught me in the middle of my vacation, but it is what it is. Shout out to everybody that's already thumbs the video up. Shout out to everybody that's already thumbs the video down. You know I love you all the same. But let's get rolling. Yo, peace and love, guys. Back with another video. You already know what it is. Today we have the Jordan 4 Fire Red, and this is a sneaker that has came out in multiple versions but before we get into that just gotta let you know i don't condone the resell of these sneakers or manufacturer i'm just sent a gift i make a video people watch it they go back to their normal lives and then you guys wait for the next video that's pretty much what i do but without further ado i want to thank you guys for tuning in um the channel's growing IG is growing and I just want to take a moment out just to thank you guys like I used to in the earlier videos I used to stop and give praise I need to get back to doing that because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys so I really respect you love you guys that is that now let's jump into the video right away you see that there is a <laughs> pair of socks for me there so shout out to the gifter sometimes they throw socks in there sometimes good time sometimes bad but these are actually cool they look like they're from banana pulp that's very interesting and they look like some type of, I don't know, some type of athletic sock. I'm not sure what the scheme of the design is, but I pulled them out on my IG Live and we really looked at them and they're okay. The quality wasn't actually that bad. So again, shout out to the gifters for that. Now, again, this is the Jordan 4 Fire. The paper feels fine. I'm not sure how exact this paper is compared to a retail pair. I could have got a retail pair to compare to these like the Fires, but I didn't. I'm just gonna compare them to my Siemens. Um, because I just look at, you know, the shape of the shoe. I'm not trying to authenticate off the retail. I'm just trying to show you that all the shoes are inconsistent anyway. So it is what it is. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So what do we have? The Jordan 4 Fire. Jordan back in the day was absolutely killing it with these shoes. There, there really wasn't a time Jordan wasn't killing it. But when he was wearing the 4s, he was definitely killing it. Like he was on his way to building a team and you know turning teams into dynasties that sort of thing but he wore these and this was kind of like the home game shoe the alternative shoe and i think they made like a laser pair and all the other iterations before that had the jump man on the back and i think this is the first time well this is the first time that there's nike air branding in red on the back true to the og and you know i just think that's dope is when they keep it true to the og that's that, that always kind of does it for me but the overall quality of the shoe was all over the place, including retail and um, UA, whatever you want to call them. And I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube that, you know, for the retails and the shape overall is just inconsistent. Like if you look at Wear Tester's video, he, he one of his shoes, like the left shoe he praised, but the right shoe he hated. And he, he made it seem like two separate factories were making the shoe. Like go check that video out. But he, he made it clear that the shoes were very, very inconsistent, almost like two different shoes, like the one from 2013 or something. They went and grabbed and then gave it this one. And there was also a version with Spike Lee on it. I really didn't like that shoe too tough because even though the four had to do with, you know, do the right thing movie, I think they just kind of slapped Spike's face on it. And it wasn't even the, the cement color. It was this, it was this fire red color. And looking at this pair the fire red is it's pretty spot on it's it's really vibrant i know there was other batches before that had the red air bubble, red air bubble and all that stuff and then the the red wasn't as vibrant it's kind of muted but these look good so the pair that just popped up is the cements from a few years back and you can see the difference is the box says it's og and these were actually 20 dollars more 220 each and at the time there was jumpman air branding you can see on the new box there's a little hole right there in the middle not on the right side and there's red nike air branding which i i do like but i did like the hole on the right right there it just kind of helped the shoe ventilate a little bit so here's the cement for you guys have already seen this shoe on my channel and this shoe kind of got hated on for quality when it came out but i'm looking at the shape right there you guys know i always point that part out so look at both of them and these are actually pretty consistent the one on the left to me looks a little closer to the black rubber this also had the Jumpman, and I got these on February 13th, 2016. Interesting. Is that right before Valentine's Day? Huh. But it's just a shape comparison. Now, if you look at the two shoes here, the overall shape just looks pretty much the same. I mean, 
they look really close to this pair. Like the leather, the white leather they used even is, is the same. So they're not far off. Like I'm happy with the shoe. At this point, I didn't really try to get these, but I'm not the hugest fan of this colorway in particular. So I'm happy with this pair, but let's go ahead and look into the black light and see what we find here. Okay, now you can see on this shoe, there's markings all around. And look how close this right shoe is. We'll get to the uh, left shoe of the fire red in just a moment. But look how close the red is to that seam line. Man, there's markings all over these things. I'm gonna try to clean these off myself one day and see how that works. Like there's some ink on the bottom. There's some orange as well. That's interesting. They went crazy with this pair for some reason. Huh. All right, now here's the uh, the cement. And these are pretty clean except for a few markings you see there. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay, a little different colors on the midsole, some glue around there, but overall, these are pretty clean. No orange markings on the bottoms. Now this is the left shoe of the fire red. And look at the seam line towards that little black part or the red part on the shoe it's a lot it's a little further and again i've seen retail pairs that look just like this um my guy chance jovalet he made a um video with a retail pair and they look just like this pair as far as the shape so it's kind of crazy but um yeah we're not going to look at this one we've, we've already done it so let's just go ahead and get into the on feet All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm back at one of my famous, come on, hoodie. One of my favorite um, murals, as you can see. This one's super colorful. It's super big. Um, I'm trying to be super quick because it's super cold outside. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys for clicking on the video, checking me out. The shoes, hold on, let me get a little bit more. Uh, do I love the shoes. I'm not crazy about them, but I do love them. You know, they look cool on feet better than they look just pulling them out of the box. That's pretty much all I can say about it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this camera back down. Try to get some more on feet. And boy, this is a busy street right here. And people just like, they just kind of slow down when they see somebody behind this wall. It's, it's kind of funny. But I've seen people time. This is, this is a hot spot to take pictures, selfies, whatever. I've actually taken pictures for a guy that just kind of pulled up on Comac and I one day. But it is what it is. Let's get started. Yo, yo, one more thing. Make sure that you uh, follow me on IG. That's where you get the most exclusive content from moi. That's where you will catch me acting like a different colo. We should just say that. Lives, you know, the lives are really fun. Every time I get a new package, I open it up on the lives only. That's it. So you gotta follow me on IG for exclusive content. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Even if you give me a thumbs down, that's okay. Thumbs down that at least I made you feel some type of way about the sneaker. People are starting to pop out of these buildings and stuff like that. I wanna get out of here. As soon as you start content creating, people wanna show up. I'm getting snowed on. My hands are cold, feet are getting cold. But that's it, guys. Peace, love, and light. Come on, come on down, come on down. Twenty twenty one is already looking like a beast. We'll, we'll see how twenty twenty one goes. I'm trying to scale it back just a little bit. Like as the filming of this video, this might be the last one. I think I got one more coming from somebody else, but we'll see. But I'm, I'm trying to slow it down just a little bit. Like I've been doing this since November of twenty nineteen. That's a lot of shoe reviews. That's a lot of shoes. That's a lot of reviewing. That's a lot of unboxing. You know what I'm saying? God bless. I'm in this position. And I wouldn't be here without you guys watching this crazy stuff. But, you know. But I'm out, guys. Peace, peace, peace.